this story is from Wet Bigfoots. Comes to us from New Zealand. Uh, a woman was held hostage uh, in her home. Don't worry, guys. I know we don't usually do dark stories on this show, but uh, it turns out she was held awesome. B- hostage. <laughs> I gave it away. Held awesome. <laughs> She was held hostage by a possum. She was held hostage in her home. Hossum by a postage. <laughs> Shelby's not typing this down to remember for episode title. <laughs> held. I've been held hossum. <laughs> she was held hossum by Stevie Griffin. <laughs> she was held hostage by a possum. She was held hostage by the by the criminal team of Stevie Griffin and SpongeBob. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um so what did he have like a suicide vest on, or what was the what was <laughs> yeah. the deal? He um yeah it was it was really dark. He um, possum day afternoon. He was denied custody of his kids. <laughs> oh yeah, and, that's uh, how it, most of those yeah that starts in family court. That's that's he, just oh yeah yeah. So this is a uh, I don't know why this is funny to me. Hell, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why this is funny to me that this article mentioned this, but uh, <laughs> this was a grad student. He held a grad student hostage. <laughs> I don't know why that's My so funny thesis to me. is gonna be late. I've been hell awesome. <laughs> New Zealand again. <laughs> New Zealand, good. that classic New Zealand accent. Um <laughs> All right, Shelby, get the get the me talking about my pet squirrels uh drop ready because she, she said um she was uh taking stuff out of her car and uh the possum uh, quote unquote struck according to this article <laughs> climb up my little leg and she said uh, I had put my stuff on the veranda and as I was heading back to the car I heard this rustling I thought that's weird and as I was taking stuff up from the back seat of the car something ran up my leg so I climb up my little leg <laughs> I was attacked on me veranda my veranda veranda is a very New Zealand word veranda I, yeah. <laughs> I feel like you don't want to hear a rustling uh, in Australia New Zealand because it could be no a good. spider the size of a like dog you yeah know, mm-hmm. or whatever they have down there yeah it's the Lord of the Rings is yeah it it's, it's, yeah, it's a big spider yeah, sh- it's shell yeah 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 that's what lives down there it's um a, it's a damn orc <laughs> yeah so <laughs> the possum just kept charging at her and she went into her house and the animal chased her and then <laughs> every time the possum saw her through the glass doors of her house. It charged the glass. <laughs> really mad at her. Damn. And uh, this possum got like the Kill Bill, like Red Vision siren thing going yeah. for some reason. Yeah. She aggroed this possum hard. This possum was. <laughs> this possum really hates grad students. I think is the message here. Mm-hmm. And who can bl- who can blame him? He's sick of. Conservative voices being silenced <laughs> yeah, at yeah. higher education. He's tired of her stance on Israel. She's <laughs> he's sick of it. Um, yeah, so she called animal control, and they were like, you have to call the police. I don't know why. What? I guess because they're like... This is like the most your job anything's ever been. <laughs> right. I guess they're just like, it's New Zealand. There's like actual dangerous animals here. We're not coming out for just a possum. Oh, my God. We'll come out for the dog spider, but that's The it. dog spider. Nothing for she- Is it Shelob? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're currently fighting Shelob. <laughs> We're busy. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, sorry. Hey, my friend is... Uh, it looks like he's wrapped up in a bunch of ramen noodles. Uh, <laughs> I think Shelob was here. <laughs> yeah, so uh, she called the police. <laughs> uh, they came and stood around. I mean, uh, so a police officer came and she, she had to talk to him through the window. She was like, I'm not coming outside. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, he, he, he got him. Possum did not attack the police. The possum, no. Yeah, That's no. because he's tired of conservative yeah. voices. He, lo- he respects the cops. He would never. Yeah. Blue Lives Matter possum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're heroes. He's sick of PC culture on campus, but he was ready to comply with the, with the cop. So possum side poss- of the story will be told on Barry Weiss's Substack. <laughs> mm-hmm. The possum will be teaching a seminar at the University of Austin. Now I know there year. are people who listen to this that don't know what any of this refers to, and don't I just, just want to say, you the, truly bliss. It, like like <laughs> like I I'm so jealous that you don't know any of what we're talking about. Anyway, yeah, just keep it, it's worth it to not get this uh, few minutes of the podcast. The University of Possum. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so uh, that's pretty much it. Um, the possum escaped. 
Um, wow, after all that. He was not apprehended. You, what do you mean escaped? Still at large. He was outside, and he's still outside. <laughs> well, like, I mean, usually if an animal is being aggressive, animal control will, like, deal with it. Yeah, I just like that they're like, he escaped. And it was like, well, he's still in the same space. He He's right. just still an he's animal. He like, ran away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He was not apprehended. Yeah. He's um, currently holed up in a motel. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, near the airport. Yeah, there wasn't, a, from what I could tell, there wasn't a chase. He just wasn't around when they got there. <laughs> no, no, no. He was there when they got there. Oh, did they, they chase there. him around? And they, yeah, so the the, um, the officer, like, shined a bright light at him, and that paralyzed him. And then he lured him away <laughs> with some food. It paralyzed yeah. him. He played possum. <gasps> yeah. 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 This is, I will say, this is New Zealand, so this is a possum. It, it's a different... It's not the one with the big giant teeth and the yeah freak, you know, stuff. Which That's I think I've told this story before, speaking of uh, Scandinavian people again. Um, so they don't have like the, what is it? We have opossums. Is that right? Oh, yeah. I believe they're, they are called opossums. Okay. Yes. So the I, yeah, ones I with the rat like tail. Southern affectation. But yeah. The ones with the rat tail and the yeah. big sharp teeth. Um, they don't have those in Europe. And we had a Danish exchange student at our house. And he was like he was sitting eating all your ice out of the fr- out of the freezer and your fish. He was going nuts. He was going nuts on the frozen fish, just raw, <laughs> yeah, just yeah. slurping it down. Um, Gollum mode. He was very tall. Yeah, he was very tall. Um, so he was like sitting in our backyard, and he saw there was a possum on top of a, a like this fence that was around our backyard, mm-hmm. and he just saw the big teeth and stuff. And uh, he came inside and said, there's a bear in the backyard. Oh, yes. And we were like, what? Small bear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. These British, they're the British. These New Zealand ones kind of look like. They're uh, cute. They look like, uh, like kind of like sugar gliders. They do oh, look yeah. like sugar gliders. Yeah. They're very adorable. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't be too worried about this guy. I mean, you know. If don't... he was charging me, I wouldn't be happy. I don't think I want him like in my house. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, I if get cr- why you If he wouldn't... crawled up my leg without like me wanting him to do that, I would not. Yeah. He's got that. little hands. That's yeah. not really. Yeah. I mean, I think like I could get why you wouldn't want to, but I also don't think you can be held hostage by anything that you can kick. Like, I if mean, you can kick something, you're it's immediate. You win. I I don't know. We've talked. You don't think you think you would lose a physical fight? Not with, with lose, one of those. but like I would not want to engage it. Yeah, it crawls. It's not like it's going to be on the ground in a position for you to drop kick away from. But you. then is it the po- but is it the possum holding you hostage or just your you know. Your your internal Eli's snapping this possum's neck just instantly. He's going up my leg. <laughs> I'll kick a I'll kick a light. How post. are you going to kick him? He's on your leg. I kick him off and then I kick him what again. Is that? <laughs> or I use my I hands. I wish I had your confidence. Eli just watching any of the Chucky movies a... and just getting pissed off. <laughs> I don't, th- I don't think it's unearned confidence to think that if a possum climbed up my leg, the end result of that would not be me dead. I, the possum. That's not the like. Th- that is not what the the stakes of this are. It's not this possum. I'd get him off. Me. I tell you what, I'd get him off. <laughs> Eli, here to hear first, folks. Eli was confronted with a possum. He'd get him off. Oh yeah. <laughs> And then I'd just be like, yeah, but I wouldn't like hole up my house and crack open my like, you know, hurricane storage or whatever. It'd be like eating spam. Possum I'd just be just, like, like get smoking out. Smoking a cigarette after Eli goes back in the house. <laughs> yeah, you got to establish your dominance. By, then, by, again, by getting, getting him, off. him off. Yeah, because he's like, I'm not getting back on there. Last time I got on, I got thrown the fuck off. <laughs> There's nothing in this for me. <laughs> Back to Shelob's lair. <laughs> I can't tell if you're like refusing to go along with this, or if you really don't know. We're, that we're, we're implying about you that you're gonna ja- you're gonna jack off, off the possum, but get him yeah. off. Oh, I didn't. I wasn't following that. <laughs> okay, that's fine. But <laughs> yeah, get him off. <laughs> well, that seems like a bigger problem because then he's definitely keep coming back. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. He's calling you all the time. <laughs> yeah. You're like that was a one time thing. Yeah. I thought you knew what this was. <laughs> yeah. Look, man, no one can just... find out about this. <laughs> well, anyway, call an best of luck to that possum. You come get this possum off. <laughs> he won't leave until we get him off. Yeah, I do get Man-made. the I do get the panic unrelated to get him off. Like I probably told this story before. Like uh, in like fifth grade, a squirrel jumped in the window into our classroom. And that's the best day of school all year. I and mean, that's all you're going to talk about for the rest. Like, that's it. 
Yeah. I mean, I think it was like a week before we got back to the lesson plan. Like, it was like... There was that story that we didn't do it, but like a moose got into a school. It's like, that's it. The school year is over. Yeah. No one is doing any... Oh, hey, okay, okay, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Settle okay. down. Moose school. That's it. We're talking about the moose. We're not talking about math. Get the fuck out of here. We're yeah. not... You know, come on. That's right. That's yeah. That's the moose in the school. The, what I always refer to as the whirling dervish song. I don't know if that's... <laughs> the whirling dervish. <laughs> I don't think they whirl to this. Isn't that like a meditative practice? I have, dervishes? No, I, I have no idea. Uh, I think I th- they're like Sufi like mystics, so I don't think they put this on. I feel yeah, like, like a whirling like it, dervish is like a spe- I thought it was like a specifically trained type of swordsman. No, yeah. No, a whirling dervish. I'm wrong. It's like a circus act. That's what so I'm... Yeah, right. right. Yeah. yeah, okay, I'm right. Who am I thinking of? The spinning Sufi guys. This is going to drive me crazy. Well, I've got a Google whirling dervish now. <laughs> My Instagram suggestions are all going to be for whirling dervishes. <laughs> it's trying to what? Get you checking to hire the, them? Checking the yellow pages mine for are, whirling are all, dervish. No, they are der- That is what they're called. I'm sure it's like an offensive use of the term <laughs> from like 150 years ago. Yeah, so the dervish comes from the Sufi thing, but I think there is like an acrobat. It was like a, like a curiosity of okay. some kind. I'm glad we're both right because that was... Gonna drive me crazy. Mm-hmm. Anyway, should we do number four? <laughs> yeah, yes. just top Google result. Can a woman be a whirling dervish? <laughs> <laughs> Fighting sexism in the whirling dervish community. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>